Alright everyone, welcome back to my Click Your Heroes playthrough. So everyone, while we've been offline, my heroes have farmed this amount of gold right here, which is absolutely awesome. That means that we have a bunch of gold to spend in this part. Now, I'm probably going to end up spending it quite fast, but oh well, that's the point of the gold, I guess. I really hope that you all do enjoy this episode, everyone. Please remember to hit that like button if you did, and of course, thank you very much for watching. Maybe even share this video to your friend if you feel like it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is upgrade our lower tier heroes to get their abilities, such as Metal Detector and Golden Click. So let's do that now, shall we? There we go, just got Metal Detector and Golden Clicks. Let me just upgrade Ice Wizard while I'm here. Actually, do you know what? King Minas has Gold Blade here, so let me just purchase that quickly. There we go, very nice. Just got Icy Touch for the Ice Wizard. Next we have Abaddon. Let me just upgrade Abaddon a bit. There we go, Dark Ritual, thank you very much. Oh, what's this level 80 boss? Okay then. I should be able to idle him down, no problem. I believe that we should be able to hit level 100 in this part easy, everyone, but we'll see how we go. Just purchase all of my Zul special talents there. Little DPS Mazul gave us, jeez. Thank you very much, Mazul. Okay, next is Amuntet. How much will he cost upgrade? Not too much. Increases DPS of all heroes by 20%. Prepare the re-beginning. And Genesis Research to increase DPS of all heroes by 20% again. Thank you very much, Amuntet. Uh, I just activated Dark Ritual, by the way. I'm going to chuck some gold into Beast Lord, because he is a super powerful character at this level. Let's do that now. There we go, that was well worth it. Got a bunch of DPS from Beast Lord there. Look how much damage you're doing, everyone. And we're not even on idle DPS bonus at the moment. Wow. Gotta love it, dude. Just smashing these mobs down. Hell yeah. Astral Rift level 88. Very nice. Saving up for beast mode. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. There we go. Just got beast mode. Increase beast lord's DPS by 100%. Awesome. Gonna try and get beast lord to level 100. Might take a while, though. But there's not much I can really do about it at this point. Astral Rift level 90. Okay, then. So here's the level 90 boss getting destroyed. There we go. That's the end of the level 90 boss. I guess I can upgrade Athena Goddess of War if I wanted to. Or I can keep upgrading Beast Lord. Hmm. The choices, guys. The choices. Probably best to go to the Goddess of War, right? Since she is my highest hero at the moment that I have. She costs a lot of gold, doesn't she? Wow. I guess I'll just keep upgrading Beast Lord then. There we go. Just chuck some more gold into Beast Lord. Level 93 now, everyone. I reckon I might grind on level 94 for a bit, since I know I'm not going to be able to idle down a level 95 boss just yet. I need to make sure I chuck some more gold into Beast Lord or perhaps the Goddess of War. So let's do that now, shall we? Once we hit level 94, I'm going to turn on farm mode. There we go. Okay, I'm going to save up for Sacrificial Lamb's Blood to increase the DPS of all heroes by 10%. Excellent. Shouldn't take too long to save that up. There we go, everyone. Sweet. There's a little minor DPS boost there for our Beast Lord and all my heroes, 10%. But I guess it all adds up eventually due to all the heroes that I have. So you can't really complain with that too much. So we're still grinding on level 94 at the moment. Just trying to save up a little bit more gold here before I take down that level 95 boss. I reckon I might put some gold into the Goddess of War, maybe get her to level 25. I need 563Q for that though. Hmm. Interesting. Just saving up for that amount of gold right now. There we go. Excellent. So now we should be able to idle down a level 95 boss. Yep. Sweet. Well, I hope we can idle him down. Better be able to. I think we just can do it. If not, I have to use Power Surge to take him down. Yeah, right. Use Power Surge on my clicks. There we go. I have to use Power Surge on my clicks, everyone, to get past the boss there. Alright, no problem. Let me just keep upgrading the Ghost of War. There we go, very nice. Increase the Ghost of War's DPS by 100%. Awesome. Just clicking with my Power Surge at the moment. I didn't use Click Swarm just yet, I didn't really see the point. Now the Ghost of War is doing a huge amount of damage. Awesome. I'm just going to turn on Progression Mode here. And we're going to keep grinding through the levels until we reach level 99. 
In the meantime, though, I'm gonna keep on upgrading the Goddess of War. Can't wait until we go into idle mode. Do you know how much damage we're gonna do in idle mode, dude? Cannot wait. Oh, look at this, everyone. A B spawn. Okay. What are you gonna drop for us, Mr. B? Better be something good. Metal detector. Ah, oh, sweet. 100% gold increase. That's for 30 seconds, obviously. Might as well click in the meantime since I have metal detector. We want to try and get that gold as fast as I can here. Level 98, everyone. Nice. I have a bunch of gold at the moment, don't I? Hell yeah. So let's choose all that gold we just farmed on the Goddess of War. There we go. I got the Goddess of War to level 50. Sweet. About to increase her DPS for 100% again with Bloodlust. And then I'll just wait until idle mode kicks in for that extra DPS boost. Wow, that's a lot of damage the thing Goddess of War is doing. <laughs> and a treasure chest, nice. Thank you for all that gold treasure chest. Now we have the Wind Deity and the Goddess of Love. Awesome. Should I perhaps chuck some gold into the Goddess of Love, everyone? Or just keep upgrading the Goddess of War? Perhaps I should just keep upgrading the Goddess of War for now. Yeah, probably best choice. Especially once I get that idle DPS boost. There it is. Awesome. Big damage being done to these mobs. Turning on farm mode now, level 99. Just trying to grind up all this gold, everyone. Alright, gonna increase Beast Sword's level by 25. There we go, now it's over level 100. Sweet. Might save up the super clicks as well while I'm at it. There we go, just purchase super clicks. Very nice. I really want to try and idle down that level 100 boss now. So I'll just purchase the Goddess of Love, everyone. Gonna try and put some more levels into her. She's just very expensive, that's her problem. But if I save up for the Lasso of Love, I can increase her DPS by 100%, which is awesome, of course. So I need to get her to level 10 so I can purchase the Lasso of Love. Let's get to level 100 while we're here, see if we can take down the Omet for one hero soul. I can't idle him down just yet though, I can already tell. So I'm just going to keep on grinding on level 99 for a bit. Maybe once I get the Lasso of Love, then I can idle down Omet. It's really sweet to have a hit level 100 already though, dude. I wonder how far we can get in this part. Alright, there's the Lasso of Love, sweet. So now let's try and take down Omet. Should be able to do this, hopefully. If not, I'll try and use Clickstorm. Yeah, I reckon we got this. Yeah, we got him. Omet's going down, everyone. That's another hero soul for me. Sweet. Thank you very much, Omet. Level 101 now, guys. Just put a bunch more levels into the Goddess of Love. I really want to get the Goddess of War to level 100, but that's very expensive. So I don't think that's really worth the investment. Especially since the Goddess of Love does so much damage compared to the Goddess of War. Probably the best to just keep upgrading the Goddess of Love, to be honest. There we go. I want to save up for the Love Potion here. But first, I need to get the Goddess of Love to level 25. So there you go. Now I'm going to save up for Love Potion to increase the Goddess of Love's DPS by 100%. Sweet! There we go, everyone. The Love Potion. Really nice DPS increase there for the Goddess of Love. We're just going to keep on grinding through these levels here. Level 103 at the moment. Can't complain with that one bit. Perhaps I should purchase the Wind Deity. Hmm. Get that bonus DPS straight off the bat. Could come in handy. Yeah, there you go. So I just purchased the Wind Deity, everyone. Try and get that nice damage increase. Might save up for another Wind Deity level upgrade. The extra damage will definitely come in handy. Alright, level 104. Nice. Getting a bunch of gold now per kill here. Already the Wind Deity is being the Goddess of Love at level 3. Unbelievable amount of damage the Wind Deity does, dude. Then you have Grant the General does a massive amount of damage as well. Jeez. Alright, level 105, everyone. A primal boss. One hero soul. Might not be able to take him down just yet, though, sadly. Nah, not yet. That's okay. We'll just keep grinding level 104. Might as well just keep upgrading the Wind Deity. Screw it. Almost 2k Q, everyone, on the Wind Deity's damage output. Wow. Whoops, didn't mean to click there. 
Nearly lost my idle DPS bonus. I reckon I might try and get the Wind to level 10, to be honest. Still not the best choice here. There we go, level 9. About to get her to level 10. Then I might save up for Dancing Blades. Ooh, that's a huge DPS increase. Hell yeah. And a treasure chest as well, nice. That was very lucky to get that treasure chest. I definitely should use Metal Detector then, but oh well. There you go, Wind Deity's level 10 now. Just have to save up for Dancing Blades. Alright everyone, Dancing Blades, here we go. Massive damage increase, thank you very much game. Just turn on progression mode here so I can grind through the levels and hopefully hit level 110. Alright, Primal Boss is down. See you later, Primal Boss. Okay then. Gotta love the Wind Deity. Thank you very much, Wind Deity. Keep upgrading the Goddess of Love here. Try and purchase her Love Hurts to increase her DPS by 100%. Might cost a bit to do, but it's probably worth it. Or I guess upgrading the Wind Deity is a better choice still. I just really like purchasing all my hero's talents, dude. Oh, what's this? A clickable. Nice. Just got a bunch of gold then, thanks to that clickable. Level 108. Wow, nearly up level 110, everyone. I reckon I might pop everything on the level 110 boss and end the part there. Let's see how far we can get once we pop every single cooldown. Should be good. Alright, level 109. Sweet. Alright, I nearly got the wind deeds here at level 30. But I might save up for annoying winds to increase the DPS of all heroes by 10%. Let's do that now, shall we? And I just lost my idle DPS boost. Whoops. Not good at all, because I accidentally clicked there. <laughs> Alright, just purchased Annoying Winds. There we go, sweet. So I'm just going to wait, everyone, until we get our idle DPS boost back. Alright, everyone, so it's time to take down the level 110 boss. I'm going to pop every cooldown I have. Here we go, get ready. Let's do this, dude. Enabling progression mode. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, there we go. Another primal boss killed. Thank you very much for the hero soul, gang. Wow, look how much damage we're doing, dude. I just defeated a Relic Ooze, apparently. I can't see, gang. Get out of my way. <laughs> I'm not going to click to open just yet, though. I'm trying to grind more. Wow, man. Lose everyone. I can't even click anymore. I think the game's glitched out. Click to open. A broadsword of discovery. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, game, for that. <laughs> okay, so I just got a random relic there. Now, let me upgrade Grant the General. There we go, that's a nice DPS increase. Sweet. So, the Broadsword of Discovery. 10% more treasure chest. Oh, nice. I actually like that relic quite a bit. Alright, everyone, so that wraps it up for this part. I really hope that you all did enjoy. Please remember to hit that like button if you did, and of course, thank you very much for watching. I reckon what I might do is quickly hit level 115 and end the part there. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to beat the level 115 boss without any uh, abilities. Let's see how much health the level 115 boss has. Wow, quite a bit. It's another primal boss as well, sweet. So that means another hero soul. Thank you very much, game, for that. Alright, everyone, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next part. See you around.